everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i achieved this 3d flower monotone lipstick shape look i think it's really cute and it's inspired by a set that i did some years ago on my mother it's in like a teal and like aqua tone but yeah so her nails are six weeks old and i actually do have a video on these she actually lost a nail um she injured it i believe she was camping it's been a while ago and so she had a nail that we completely did not put anything on so the missing nail was always missing it didn't come off while she was wearing it you know what i mean <laughs> so she wanted to try the lipstick shape so Yes, of course, I've done uh, another lipstick shape video before, and I've done a few sets by now. I have a client um, that's come back and we get refills, and they're at this point, it's kind of new and fun to shape. So I use the e-file, as you've seen, to kind of take that shape down to get it started, take the bulk off, uh, the bulk off <laughs> and get that going. And now I'm using... Um, this bit right here the cutie patootie from light elegance and i'm just using that to push back that epinicium and start the process of removing the cuticle from the nail plate now i'm taking um i believe this is called the itty bitty bit i'll get it right one day and this is a diamond bit and i'm using this flush to the natural nail to remove that skin i'm using it at about seven thousand rpms um on the e-file if you're curious and like i said i'm holding that as flesh to the natural nail so we don't create any rings of fire or anything like that and just removing that dead skin on the nail plate which is the cuticle of course and so i just am doing this and i've said it before you can do this process if you're right-handed this is going forward on your e-file from right to left then you can also do it in reverse and go from left to right and you'll kind of get different angles and get make sure it's really clean it kind of depends on your client and how their cuticle grows how you know maybe tough it is to remove or exfoliate from the nail plate um, but that's just something you have the option of doing if you need to and so now i know it's kind of off screen but i want to show you guys i'm going ahead and starting this shape she wanted this these were, these were all kind of square shaped and she wanted them the pinky and stiletto shape and the rest in lipstick shape so i'm using these daily charm uh full nail covers these are lipstick shaped already and because she was missing this one and it grew out to length her doctor approved that she can get an extension on, on it so and then she broke she had a couple she broke they were six weeks old like i said she had one that was completely missing it was missing from birth not her birth but the birth of the set <laughs> and then she had um two others she broke off these were her disneyland nails she vacation in these she lived life with those she rode rides with those like yeah so anyways so i kind of exfoliated her skin like any like hangnails anything like that and got these all cleaned up and we're gonna prep so i'm using these products and i'm using a light elegance products for the regular field nails and i'm using these products which is our daily charm little extension full cover extension set and i'm using that for the nails and i'm going to be using those lipstick shape full nail um Nail extension nail full cover nail extension so on the regular with my air quotes on the regular nails that are getting a fill i'm applying light elegance's air bond first letting that air dry and then i'm applying light elegance's tack and then curing that in my led light i believe it's for 30 seconds so the again quote unquote regular ones are getting light elegance products these nails the ones that need to be extended are going to get the daily charm products which is going to be their dehydrator followed by their primer and i'm going to place just a thin layer of that um gel the extension gel aka the one you use to apply i want to apply a thin layer on a natural nail just to get a good base going and she still has some product left on her nail so excuse how it looks it looks like there's trouble happening but it's just the difference of having a little bit of colored product and not so once i apply that i'm going to use the um opera gel x it's a whole separate thing um their prep 
to etch the inside instead of using a file just to help have good adhesion. Then I'll apply that um, extension gel to the tip of that, anchor it down, use a little LED flashlight and get that cured on. Boom, right there. And that first layer I applied on the natural nail is cured, so that's cured already. And then we apply the wet product on the inside of the nail and then applied it on, while it's wet, obviously, onto her natural nail. And I'm getting it secured. And like I said, using the LED flashlight and making sure we have it flash cured down and we'll give it a full cure in the light. So I'm using the Natural Pink Cool Gel. And I'm using this just to do a little quick fill on the rest of the nails. I like... When I can, I'm a girl <laughs> who likes a thinner viscosity gel product. That's what I know and found out about myself. That's what I prefer. Um, not super thin if you're familiar with like Elegance products. Not like one step or anything like that. But cool gel, I really like. Or maybe something even a little bit thinner. But not quite one step. Because I like a product that self-levels. That's the beauty in gel is that it self-levels. You don't have to worry about lumps and bumps like gravity will do a lot of it the work for you it'll build an apex for you and stuff like that you just gotta know how to work with it and how fast it will move because if it levels too fast that little apex you built will just kind of self-level down because of gravity but it depends on what you're doing how long the nails are and etc so there's a lot of different factors and if and when you want that to happen and of course when you want a super thick viscosity when you want it to just not move and that's ideal when you're doing like frenches or things like that that you want to have like a permanent design in that product to stay exactly where you want it just for regular old fills like I'm doing now I like a medium thinner viscosity and I can just fill it in move it dance it down the nail get it where I want it move that apex right where I want it and go ahead and cure and keep it moving Okay, so we're gonna file and shape. And I just wanna say, we made it so far in the video. I didn't tell you you can use code what? Tabitha and the number 10 for a discount at Daily Charm. So if you're looking for these full nail covers, they have other shapes. They have actually a lot of shapes. Uh, they have some squoval ones I wanna get for like a little natural nail, little Manny. They have these lipstick, lipstick shape ones. They have long coffin, extra long coffin. I think oval, long oval, stiletto. I think they have extra long, maybe still have, they have it in different colors. They have like a pink shade and an ivory shade. N not in these lipstick. The lipstick shape only come in clear, but for most of like the medium and I think regular long lengths, they have both colors. They have shorter ones. They have short almonds. They just have a whole variety of like the full nail covers. And I think their system lasts really well. I'm not saying that I've used it on clients and stuff. Um, along with the Opre Gel X, they just have different options. Um, and I think they're great quality and especially great if you're somebody who is just a nail enthusiast and you want some cute nails fast. You don't even want to worry about structure. You want to do design. Like, definitely check those out. So I use the, um, I think it's a shaper bit, like a crosscut diamond bit. I can't remember if it's the like, Elegance one or the one from... Um, at what industries I apologize and did that so I'm using these acrylic powders and these colors it was a whole thing trying to match these we want to get them as close as possible and it wasn't a hundred percent the brighter pink this lighter kind of barbie-ish pink this Kiara sky color right here the acrylic powder that I got to match with this one I think matched better than the other darker pink and the other pink's not dark it's like you, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I'm just applying this. And I'm going to be real honest with you guys. This is not my favorite gel polish. <laughs> um, I have it. I've had this color for a long time. I have several Kiara Sky gel polishes that I've had for a while. And honestly, if I could get some, like an exact dupe for this color in a brand that I know, love, and trust... I would absolutely love to do that. I just haven't 
found it. Um, I haven't really intentionally gone searching for it, but that's what makes me not get rid of it. And I'm like, dang, there's been some looks where I need this shade of pink. So as soon as I can give it the boot, I will. But that's me. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure they make great products. I mean, these are older products. I haven't tried any of their new ones. I just leave a bad taste in my mouth. That's me. But they're just not, and I'm not saying they're bad. They're just not the consistency and pigmentation and stuff that I prefer. So if you have it, you like it, you love it, you enjoy it. I love that for you. And please, I'm sure they love it for you too. So I'm not trying to talk you out of them. I'm just telling you my story. <laughs> So the other hand, I'm using like Elegance's Buttercream and Playful Pink. And this is like the, I'm going to call this the darker pink. We know it's not dark. It's bright. It's like neon, but we're going to call it the darker pink. So for this hand, everything the exact same. We're polishing all, all the nails, all five of them. And um, we got this. Look at this shape, how cute this is. And these, the lipstick full cover nails from Daily Charm were like a perfect length like how they were to go along with what she had going you know what I mean like they're like a good like medium length and that's what she already had so they worked perfectly I could have put a tip and clipped it and shaped it and stuff like that but for shorter nails nails that have like you know been broken off damaged injured um something like that i prefer to put clients with full cover tips if possible i feel like they have better wear longevity it's more comfortable so that's again that's me that's a little about me and <laughs> what i like to do so i'm just i just put all this footage of me just polishing just so we can chill and talk um once and I'm using the light elegance um gel polish brush and I believe it's yeah I think it's just their gel polish brush I have it right here in front of me in real life yeah so I'm just using this to go ahead and apply this product and I go ahead and apply two coats and then I am using the magic gel matte top coat and I'm going ahead i'm going is that a proper way to say that i don't know i'm going to go ahead and mat these out right now before you do your 3d acrylic work top coat first no matter if it's shiny or matte go ahead and get your top coat going just yeah because depending on what you know when you, if you have different artwork involved in the 3d like bling or something that may change your order of operations up but if you're just doing a straight nail with 3D work, go ahead and top coat shiny or matte first because you don't want to matte, you don't want to top you don't want to top coat over shiny or matte your 3D work. And it's a pain to top coat around it. So go ahead and do it first. So I'm using the Valentino Beauty Pure acrylic powders and I showed earlier in the video, I can't recall what colors they are. Go ahead and rewind it back. I'll show them on the camera. And I'm using like I said the two that matched the very best like i said this is a better match for the lighter pink than the darker pink is but it worked but it was a whole thing because i had to with concept like this i have to pull out what i have in acrylic right then i have to see what i have for in a matching gel polish and obviously even if i don't care for the product that much we still want to make it work then again for this concept i'm just explaining to you guys how these color stories are made up and these things are conceptualized then i have to pull out um then we have to see what two colors look good together because the whole concept is to have two different colors having the same design but colors that are in the same color family you know what i mean so given that <laughs> you kind of i swatch all my acrylic powders that are in the pink family then I'm pulling out all these gel polishes and seeing which ones best match those powders. And then we're taking all those and seeing, okay, which two of these look good together? Because you have purple tone pinks. You have, you know, like more yellow tone pink. This is definitely a more yellow tone, like more peachy, peachy tone pink. And then you're like, 
well, I feel like, you know, the darker color needs to, you know, be of a more yellow, peachy, corally tone as well. So then that X's out all the blue tone ones. And I just say that so you guys will have an idea, like I said, of what's involved in planning these type of things. And it seems simple. I mean, it's not life or death. We're not making like nuclear decisions over here. But those things matter to get, you know, good aesthetic. And for any people that are like, where do I start with the design? What did you do? Where did it come from? So I just like to give you those tidbits. If it don't apply, you don't like it, let it fly. Out of sight, out of mind, let it go. So this, with 3D work, it's it's a whole thing. And this video is not solely a deep dive tutorial on 3D work. And I am sorry. And I'm not the absolute master at 3D work either. I'm not the gatekeeper on that. Um, but I feel good enough with my skills to do certain things. And these type of flowers, type roses. And I don't even know the type of flowers I can make. But I can make a few different types of flowers. And so with this, I wanted to fill up the nail. I didn't want it to look too bulky. Um, I wanted to keep in mind of the shape. And I kind of a little bit lost that with trying to form my roses keep in mind your shape because you don't want to bulk it up too much um so where you place the petals is going to be important and on the previous one that had the full petals of the brighter lighter paint i wish i would have kept the petals a little inside a little more if that makes sense you'll notice it kind of throws off the lipstick shape a little bit but overall, it's beautiful. I have to, I'm like rubbing my temples right now. And I'm like, you see what you've done wrong, do it better. Don't stress about it. Put the video out. Cop the. So here I am. I've accepted it. <laughs> They're cute. We're putting it out. Okay. Gone a thumbs up for that because I had a lot of hesitation. I'm like, oh, they, they, they were going to be so cute. And not that they were bad, but yeah, you know, <laughs> we're here. <laughs> Um, so yeah, my biggest tip with doing 3D work, like I said, this is not a deep dive. Make sure you use a good brush. I think this is like a size three little Kalinsky brush. I've been having it for years. Um, you may want to have a couple, but I think I think that's a size three, and I feel like that's a good size to start with, three or four or something. Um, and your bead consistency is gonna matter. You don't want to work with your bead too wet. So pick up your bead, your little bead. You're going to need a napkin because you're going to pick many up and you're not going to use a lot of them because <laughs> they're just not going to be right. They're going to be too dry, too wet. You want to find that Goldilocks zone of something that's not too runny. And even if it is a little runny, it can still be salvageable. Um, I had a little flip fuzzy right there. Um, if, it, if it's too wet, you can flip it over like you guys have seen, drain it on a napkin a little bit and then apply it to the nail. Even if it's too wet as it gets to the nail, we're still still by default generally going to let it dry a little. And depending on the design, usually the rule for like 3D work, especially flowers, is to um, put the bead, let it sit for a second, and wait for it to start looking a little bit matte, and then work with it. Because if it's too liquidy, it's not going to hold any shape. It's going to want to level and move into two dimensions and not three dimensions so we need it to start on the path of drying so we can ensure that it doesn't level out and just go 2d on us but simultaneously we don't want to wait too long to where you can't move it at all so you want to make sure it has some pliability to it when you go into manipulate it so push your little bead you see i'm letting it sit for a second and this is sped up this is sped up two times so i let it sit for a little second and each color here's the thing Th throw a little wrench into it different brands of product with different monomers are going to dry at different times even different colors is what i'm also trying to say so even though these are both Valentino Beauty Pure Colors, for some reason, I found that this color kind of 
dried a little bit quicker. Just uh, just a little bit. But it's enough for me to notice it and to kind of, you know, treat it a little differently and consider it, you know, what I'm doing a little bit differently. I need I didn't need to wait as long. Because like I said, you don't want to apply you know, your bead and then not be able to manipulate it much. And then you have this something that doesn't look like what you're trying to do. So as I'm applying this, I'm filling in also negative space with little dots, as you can see, just to kind of make it look full, like a whole, you know, beautiful situation. So I'm applying just little like, I don't even know if they're petals or leaves, guys. I, I don't, I don't know what I had in mind but I did it and I think it, it's okay so you can see how I'm applying that bead it's smoothed out and as it's starting to dry I'm going ahead and I'm starting to manipulate it and let it like dry a little bit more because sometimes you'll notice it when you start moving you're like oh I think it's done and I'm uh, okay maybe not and you can let it dry just a, a few seconds and you'll start to become more comfortable as you do this more, especially if you're comfortable with applying acrylic like traditionally as a full set of fill, like you use acrylic. You'll don't practice this. You can do it. You can do it. It looks intimidating and looks super elegant. It's no put some beads on the nail and mush it down in different directions. And there you go. <laughs> just that's just it. We're taking acrylic beads, putting them on the nail, mushing it down one way, the other way, and just that's it. So try it. Don't let it scare you anything. Pull out some tips and put on your mask because we hate those monomer fumes. <laughs> and then, um, you know, go ahead and try this. And that this look see that one wasn't working for me so i just took this off boom i let it dry too much is what i did like i said and i edited it out there were some other beads that just i just let dry a little bit too long so because it was finding the sweet spot with this one was a little bit more challenging but like i said it's able to be done go ahead and practice and i would recommend I told you this before, I did those sunflower nails. And if you haven't watched those, check those out. Go ahead and try out a little sample nail right before you do it. No matter if you're used to the product or not, because the weather and temperature can change how product reacts. But this is it, you guys. We already top coated and everything. We I let that dry for a few minutes. Um, let my clients oil up and everything. Be fully set in 24 hours, but it'll be good enough after about 5-10 minutes once she pays and checks out and re reschedule and everything. So this is the final look. Go ahead and leave a rose or a flower emoji down below. Don't forget to check out Daily Charm and use code Tabitha in the number 10 when you shop. Um, check out those full nail ext extensions. They have a beautiful matte top coat. So check them out. If you want to figure out about, about pricing info, find the link down below in the description bar to my pricing guide and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe thank you guys for watching bye